give it a haircut? It's all right. It's fine. We'll, we'll do a new one. Okay. So now you know how to applaud, so you'll do that. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's do... Douglas? 
No. <laughs> Mine is... Individual. <laughs> well, where are you from? Canada. Nationality. <laughs> I'm from right here. Wait, where are we? Are we on a stage? Oh, hi, Mom. How are you? Oh, you're breaking up. Uh... <laughs> Bye. Really, you took a bite? We are so done! Oh, wait, it wasn't me! Come back, Veronica! Yeah? What kind of rope can I interest you in today? Uh, 
I'd like to get a long rope, please. One long rope! One long rope! Will that be all? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's it? That's it. Uh, actually, could you throw in a short rope, too, please? Throw in a short rope. All right, one long rope and one short rope. One long rope and one short rope coming up. Perfect, but uh, can you please make sure they're the same size? Hey. Yeah. I think the same size. The long rope and the short rope? Yeah. Uh, ja, yep. Yeah, they're the same size. <laughs> they are the same size. Perfect. Pack it up. All right, packing it up. All right, that comes to $894.27. Uh, look, actually, listen. Could you throw in a medium sized rope too, please? Throw in a medium. All right, I got a long, a short. And a medium rope. That it? That it? Uh, yeah, but make sure they're all the same size. Are they the same size? The long, the short, and the medium rope. Are they the same size? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yup, same size. Same size. That's Great. All right, a long, a short, and a medium rope comes to $894.27. Wait, that's the same price as the long and the short rope. That's the long and the short of it. <laughs> well, in that case, can he loop the long rope and shove the short rope through the loop? Loop the long, shove the short. All right, looping the long, shoving the short. Uh, and then can he manipulate the short rope back to the back? Flip the flap. Flipping. Measuring as mediums? Mediums. Yup, mediums. Magnificent. Then, could he tug the tightness of the tangle? Tug the ties. Tugging. Uh, what does that leave him with? What do you get? Oh boy, I got a long, a short, and one medium rope. A long, a short, and a medium rope. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you want to buy your ropes? No, I can't afford your ropes. <laughs> well. She was just stringing us along. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, la la. What? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh, I lose. Oh no! Oh Rhymes with hat. 
dog. <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> Alligator! Coming in our store and using the TVs. We need to go home. Fine, but I'm keeping the remote. Wait, no, you're not. Come back here! Hey! Give me my remote! Can you see the bee? 
Viena. Grande cafe bean, grande cafe bean, grosso! Cafe bean! Grosso 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 cafe bean!
王，王路远，帅。
right hand freeze, left shoulder wiggle, wiggle, right arm shake, left hip jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> Step right, windmill arms, swipe away the stupid birds, shooting star, rub your eyes, clean your glasses, silly nerd. <laughs> Step left, blow the horn, wave it to and fro. Jumping back, that's a very scary mask, bro. Raise the roof, make it rain, the bless the raids in Africa. Kick twice, barrel arms, and turn a full 180. <laughs> Most popular in school, guess what? It's picture day. Pull off your hair, brush your teeth, everything will be okay! <laughs> Single ladies, ring by spring, moonwalk kind of bad. Right hand, plate and burst, oh my gosh, it's Brad! Hi, Brad. <laughs> Drool, no more wisdom teeth, gonna get some Novocaine. Mutters incoherently, ala, 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 aim. Down and hold for longer than you wanted to. Stand up with darn. Growing old is hard to do. Well, it's about that time. Talk for 10 more minutes. Swat away the fireflies, but catch one for my bio class. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rescue team, lover of the teenage dream. Dribble, dribble, thriller arms, decorate the Christmas tree. Gucci, Gucci, little baby, take away their candy. Tummy ache, cavity, got a crush on dentist Andy. <laughs> Oven mitt spaghetti arm, dinner is ready, dear. Defibrillate yourself and everybody clear! Clear!
didn't uh, see anything, did you? See what? Nothing, nothing. Honestly, Art, if I knew you were going to make this much noise, I'd have left you back at the camp. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I'm sorry, Rich. I thought I was able to do one more adventure. I guess my old age is finally creeping up on me. That's fine, Art. I understand, old friend, but I'm glad you're here all the same. Say, hand me that whatchamacallit, will ya? Be careful, Rich. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> Honestly, it's as if you don't know me at all. Come over here and see if you can make out these writings. It seems to have all the markings of a late Neolithic Viking. So it's authentic. To my knowledge, fine jewelry such as this was one of many forms of protection in the early 13th century. Some ancient All theories right, even... we don't need the full lecture, Art. A simple yes would do. Rich, they don't call me Art Lecture. <laughs> For no reason. I'm very passionate about these things, Rich. All right. Shakes, Rich, just grab it! All right, all right. Ha <sighs> <laughs> ha! Let's get this thing in a museum. Oh, forgot my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Booby trap! Ah! gives us an understanding of the world. History can give us a better understanding of ourselves. History isn't about dates, names, and events. History is about people learning where you fit into the story. Are you the rich history? <laughs> yes, I'm your professor, Richard P. History. So you're rich history, professor of history, Anthropology, archaeology, and part-time adventurer? Yes, my family is full of rich history. My father was rich history, and his father before him. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with today's lesson about the ancient civilizations of Northern America. Professor, is it true that you discovered the last city of Minnehaha? <laughs> Allegedly. Oh! And didn't you recover the sacred bathtub of the Atlantean mummies? Theoretically. Oh, oh. <laughs> and the golden clamus of Alexander the marginally good? <laughs> I may have stumbled upon it. Ooh, ooh. And the purple papyrus scrolls of the Garmo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I did all those things. And while I'm thrilled you wish to know of my extracurricular exploits, Remember, I'm only a part-time adventurer. Let's get back to the lesson now, class. The people groups of the northern Midwest were lost to the known world after a cataclysmic shift in local religious beliefs and experimental culinary advancements. After this shift, the villagers became passive-aggressive. <laughs> Does anyone know what that is? No, me, 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 me! Maybe we know if you taught us. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> now, is this shift why we have no historical evidence whatsoever other than the legend of the golden hot dish to remember this once primitive and backcountry civilization? <laughs> and with that, class is dismissed. Uh, Professor History? Yes, Sally? Uh, is the hot dish even real? Uh, you mean a magic dish? That turns any dish baked into it into the greatest tasting meal of you all time. You don't think it exists? I mean, come on. You don't really believe in 
magical mumbo jumbo like that, truly? Well, it's not truly, it's Sally, and uh, I guess not. Have a good weekend, Professor. When did you become such a skeptic? Since I spent the last ten years of my life searching for the dang thing. We were so close to finding it, too. All right, the two of you. Hey, that's ancient history. Come now. Ancient history was your grandfather. <laughs> I'm telling you, Art, that was before. This is the new me. Oh, oh, right. The new you. It's just old junk anyway. You act like it's old junk, Rich, but once you hear the word adventure, you show up again like a bad penny. Penny! Penny history! Penny, my dear, we were just looking for you. Oh, Art. History? I have to submit the expenses from your latest expedition, and if I have to cover for you one more time, <laughs> the museum's board of directors aren't going to be very happy with you or with me. Oh, the board can take a hike. We just got back from the dank caves of Clam Falls, and I need some rest. Well, while you were away, the museum asked you to be the MC at the annual fundraiser next week. It's black tie, so I took the liberty of getting your monkey suit out and sent to the cleaners. <laughs> They'll also need you to prepare a speech. It's always business with you, Penny Pinch. But tell me, do you ever have fun? Professor History, there is not the time. And think of the cost. Oh, stop thinking about the money. Art, when are the two of you going to settle down? When you stop taking him away from school and dragging him all the way to death's door. Hey, we only went to death's door once. A great companion is hard to find these days. Adventuring is certainly becoming a lost art. <gasps> you lost art? This is what I'm talking about. But we always came back to you, my dear. I would be lost without my penny. <laughs> you see, I'm an expert in art restoration. <laughs> well, follow me to my office, Miss Pinch, and I'll give you what I have. All right, then. Now, promise me you won't forget about the fundraiser next week. I can't have you. As MC, you must handle yourself with grace. Have you ever seen me handling myself with anything other than grace? Yes. <laughs> um, excuse me? Who are you? I'm Grace. Grace? Anatomy. <laughs> I need your history. You need to explain what you're doing here. I'm acting on behalf of my employer who has a proposition for you. The board of directors gave me your information. Well, well, I've never heard of you before. Who sent you? Hugh. Hmm. Well, who? No. Hugh. Me? No, not you. Him. Him who? Him me? Him Hugh. Him him? No, Hugh sent me. I didn't send you. Nor I. No, Hugh sent me. His name is Hugh. Manatee. Hugh Manatee. <laughs> Then you won't mind if I call him up, would you? Not at all. I'm a uh, new. I've been contracted by a mysterious benefactor on behalf of the people of the Northern Tundra to recover something incredibly valuable to them. Come on, lady. No one really lives up there. Didn't you yourself just lecture today a man in your little class? Yes, yes, but they've been lost for decades. Have they? And I'm sure you've heard of the Golden hot dish? <gasps> That's just a myth. And I'm sure you'd love a crack once and for all at finding that pan. Um, it's called a hot dish. Oh, I know that look. Think of it history. Your name, your legacy, everything you've worked years to recover. Uh, might I remind you that your adventuring budget is almost entirely depleted? Don't worry about a silly little thing like that. The trip is already entirely funded by the newest board of directors, the wealthy benefactor. An anonymous benefactor? No. Benjamin Oswald Factor III, whom I represent. Come on, Rich. I know you want to do it. I can tell. Give me a ring once you've made a decision. I can make it all happen for you. Okay, bye then. Oh, it is a wild idea.
idea. No one's ever found it, if it even exists. I'll do it. But Rich, where are you going to go? If I'm going on an adventure, I'm going to need some help. I'm not sure what kind of support I can give you. And with the state of art right now? Oh, no, no. You should stay here and focus on your art. Yes, Rich, I'm afraid my old ticker just ain't what it used to be. <laughs> also, my heart isn't very good either. <laughs> but I can't go alone. What I need is someone brave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Someone loyal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Someone who will always be able to give me an honest answer. Uh -huh. A discerning ear and a deciding vote. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mister, I mean Professor History, my name's Lukewarm. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about that extra credit. If not, I could go away. Rich, Rich, you know Luke, Mr. Lukewarm. Yes, hello, Luke. No! Oh, come on, Rich! Him? He's a wet noodle! Oh, I can see how you think that, uh, Professor History. I am kind of damp. <laughs> to be honest, Art, I wasn't thinking of some wet-behind-the-ears rookie. I was thinking of someone with whom I might have a little history. But Rich, she's through with adventuring, and I'm pretty sure she's through with you after that incident in the corn maze. I'm off to the public library. Oh, where's everybody going? sort of book. And maybe you can help us find it. Well, that is one of my main tasks here at the library. I'm pretty good at finding things. You hear that, Jimbo? Looks like this is the girl we're after. Girl? I thought you were just here for a book. Well, our instructions were the book and the girl. Looks like we're two for two. Get her! Get for circulation.
Well, it's not your fault. I knew someone would be on our trail. I just can't figure out how they knew we'd come here first. Well, well, well. My own personal history finally caught up to me. Somehow I always knew you'd come walking through my door again. It's been a long time. Long time? That's for Texas! Oh. And that's for leaving me in that corn maze in Iowa! Hello. <laughs> Hello to you too, Paige. And goodbye to you, history! Every time you're near me, it's heartbreak or chaos or mayhem or being stood up! Um, so do you two like know each other? <laughs> yes. No! We dated. We used to date. I should we? Uh, yeah, or no? What do you mean? <laughs> Paige, it's not like that this time. This time? No, sorry. There will be no this time. There was only that time, and that time was awful. And I'm not going to let there be a this time just for you to two time me in some jungle on another one of your idiotic quests. <sighs> Paige, I'm just. No! You're going to let me say this, Rich, Richard, Richard, P. History, because I've had nothing but time to sit and think about what I would say to you when I see you again. And I think it's about time we drop this silly infatuation and just <laughs> part ways. I didn't know what to say then. I guess an apology is overdue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. What did you say? I'm sorry. How do you like that? History repeats himself. <laughs> oh, come on. No, you come on, Rich. What are you actually doing here? I needed to see you. And? And I'm here to take a page out of this library. And? And I need something from you. You need something. That's rich. Yes. No, I mean that's typical. You're always taking something from me, Rich. Me? Never. Okay, fine. I'm here for the cookbook. I knew it! Look, when I... Uh, I? When we found the cookbook, and you realized the last page of the book was missing, and you discovered the ciphered messages, we were so close to solving the last clues, but you broke it off, and I stopped looking for the hot dish. And I can't do it without my partner. All right. If I say yes, if we do this, it's going to be different. We'll need a team. We'll need a polyglot. Ah, yes, a polyglot. What? Connie, Constance is one. Constance, come in here, please. Uh, yes, Miss Turner? A polyglot? Uh, it means I speak a lot of languages, Professor. Someone to help with translating the cookbook. You don't think I can still speak Norwegian, do you? <laughs> I always thought you could do anything. I can. <laughs> but Constance can translate nearly every written and spoken language. You don't think she hired me for my organizational skills. <laughs> Pack your things, Constance. We're closing the library. We're going on an adventure. Grace Anatomy, we have a deal. That's perfect, Professor. I'll meet you up there. Say hi to the locals for me. All aboard, everyone.
member of the Alamo page? Aggressive, Luke. <laughs> it's a big difference. Okay. I think we're in the forbidden pine forest of northern Minnesota. Oh, so we're there! We're where we need to go! Not quite, Constance. We need to cover more ground. We should split up. Uh, but Paige, I thought we were getting along. Can it, history? You know how I feel about you and repeating the past. If we're gonna get out of this forest, we'll need to find a village. What's up, mate? You scared the bejeepers out of me. Uh, Luke, uh, you dropped your bejeepers. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I was marching to my own tunes. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to frighten you. Quacky, I'm here to help you. Grace did mention something about a local, but I'm not sure this is who she meant. Constance, what's he saying? I think he's trying to tell us that he's here to help. Aye, the Sheila's got it. I'm Jack. Headphone Jack. <laughs> I was just on walkabout and saw your plane crash. I thought you could use some assistance. I know the way out. I think. You think? Well, you look at all these trays. Uh, they all look... The same. Exactly. Oh, I can't believe it. Believe it, Buster. Actually, it's richer. Rich, if you like. All right. Rich. Follow me to safety. It's dangerous out here in these woods. <gasps> these woods? Yeah, those woods. Who would kill us? No, not those woods. Oh. These woods, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get it. Show me apples. Pack up, mates. Let's go. Okay. So how long have you lived in these woods, Jack? Oh, I don't live here. I live in the village. Village? Yeah. I'll take you to me dad. He's not really in tune with the times, but I think he can help you. Come on, ladies. Oh, I'm so excited for the potluck. What are you bringing? Oh. Potluck? Don't worry, everyone. A potluck is a good thing. <laughs> well, it can be. I think they want us to go with them. Do you uh, think it's safer or whatever? Well, staying out here in the forest won't get us any closer to the hot dish. Maybe they know something. Slippery muskies getting fished out of the ice hole. Welcome to Norsey. Oh, oh! Thank you so much! How do you know what he's saying? Well, I realized it's a specific thought. 
dialect between German and Norwegian roots and influences. <laughs> and my mom grew up in New Ulm. <laughs> oh, so you know Jack. <gasps> Rude? Oh, no. I mean, so you know Jack Squat. <gasps> Listen, buddy. <laughs> this is my son, Jack. Hi, Dad. Oi, he's your father? Yep. <laughs> and their father, too. I'm the shepherd at St. Anthony the Lesser. I'm the local pastor, Papa Squat. <laughs> Church. Oh. We have over 50 souls here. My family has served this congregation for generations. Oh, hey, Papa Squat. Oh, don't mind if I do. Hi there. I'm Gladys. Gladys can be. <laughs> what you doing in these here parts? I'm Philippa, Philippa Basket. <laughs> Pleased to meet ya. Hi, how are ya? Oh, Barb, no need to be so rude. This here's Barb Dwyer. <laughs> Don't mind her being a little persnickety. She'll warm up to you right quick. Oh, you all look right peaked. What you need, sweetie? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just still in shock that we're here. Th that you're here. Why should you be surprised? Our families have been hatched, matched, and dispatched in this very community for generations. <laughs> but there's been no record. The world believes the village is lost. Lost? Goodness sakes, no. We're just unincorporated. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't see it on any maps. Oh, yeah. After we lost the hot dish, the town kind of went downhill a little, don't you know? Well, if you ask me, it's really not the same since those Germans split off and started their own congregation up the hill. Hi, <laughs> Gladys. Hold your Norwegian tongue. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. <laughs> so, Papa Squat, is he your leader? <laughs> was a matriarchy? <laughs> Can you even imagine? Well, if women were in charge, we'd certainly get a lot more done, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, Barb, you're so bad. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to our potluck here today. Feel free to make a free will donation in the back. <laughs> We'd also like to extend a hearty welcome to our guests and visitors here today. We hope you can join us again in the future. Well, I don't know about the future, but we were hoping you could help us with something from the past. Oh, and what might that be? What do you know about the golden hot dish? <gasps> the hot dish, not this again. Oh, don't get me started on that hot dish. I'm sorry, is it a sore subject? Church legend tells of a new member welcome. That's when we welcome new members to the church. <laughs> that effectively shook the very foundations of our congregation. People for years have been searching for that dish. It looked much like this. <gasps> You've had it this whole time? Oh, no. This is very similar, though, but it's not the dish. Church historians seem to think it was from a line of limited edition hot dishes, so it was pretty rare, and by now most of that line have been lost or broken. Or stolen! <gasps> Many moons ago, one church gal brought her meal to the church, and somehow every hot dish got mixed up. It caused such a rift that she left the church, and the dish was lost! Who was the last per- Ah, my eyes! <laughs> who was the last person who knew its whereabouts? No one knows. It's out there somewhere, buried in mystery. But, oh my god! Oh, how do you know which is the true golden hot dish? In our culture, there's a tradition. 
Every good dish has the name of Dubbringer inscribed upon it. As the dishes are passed from mother to daughter throughout the generations, the name on the dish lives on. It's a way that we keep our family members and heritage alive. It's also a way to make sure no one steals your good dish. <laughs> no one knows what name is on that golden hot dish. <laughs> Anyways, that's just all a church legend. Old wives' tales to justify why a few members decided to leave the church. <laughs> Old wives? Oh, Papa Squat. And maybe some things should remain hidden. <laughs> We've all but given up hope for the dish's recovery. The search is pointless without its companion. Taste of home cookbook. Oh yeah. It contains the clues to its whereabouts. After the great garage sale of St. Anthony's Lutheran Church basement, the cookbook vanished. <laughs> Do you mean this Taste of Home cookbook? Oh, looky there, you have it. <laughs> oh, oh, yep, that should take you right to it. <laughs> Except I'm missing the last piece. Oh, well, then the search is pointless. Best job, everyone. Stay here for the night. We'll start out again tomorrow morning. Let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. Good night! <laughs> ah. Love hurts. I know you're trying to solve this mystery, Paige. Paige? I don't know the whole story, but all I can give you is this sacred ingredient. Ingredient? Well, that means squat. <laughs> All right, if you headed over to those hills, it should take you to the hidden crypt. All right, check there for the hot dish. Wait, you're not coming with us? Nah, we're gonna stay home and face the music with me dad. Who knows, maybe I can get him to change his tune. All right, I think if- We're missing page! <gasps> yes, Constance, we know. The last page is missing from the cookbook. Uh, no, sir! Miss Turner! She's- Gone? Gone? I haven't seen her since last night! I haven't either! Oh no! Maybe the woods have claimed another victim! Those woods? I told you they were dangerous! Oh no! What if something like totally horrible happened to her? Or maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> but what should we do, Professor? Hello, who's this? I'm always up to grace someone with my presence. Anything I can do to lend a hand. Grace? Where'd you come from? Uh, the, the museum sent me. So, have you found that pan? Hot, Hot dish. dish. No, but we're close. Yeah, the ladies' aid really aided us. <laughs> Good. So where to next? Hold it, sister. We're not going anywhere until we find Paige. The lost Paige? Yes. The missing Paige? Yes. Are you sure we need the Paige? Absolutely. Well, without the Paige, how do we continue? Uh, I don't know. I'm really conflicted about all this. I can see that. Where is it? Not it. She. Wait, she? Yes, Paige. What are we even talking about? Miss Turner. Turner. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. 
Do you still the book? Uh, I do right here. Perfect. Let's move. You, uh, we can still get to that pan. Hot, Hot dish. 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 Yes. I know you're worried about her, Professor. I am too. But she's a strong, independent woman. I think she'd want us to keep going. We've come this far. You're right. That's what she'd want. Now, according to the cookbook, there should be a sign that should give us our next clue. Like that? Yes! It says, the more cooks, the more mess. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure, but the cookbook says we need to enter the deepest, scariest part of the forest. It says scariest. No, I just added that myself. Oh, you're the best. Let's go! Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt this whole adventure. What if the hot dish isn't all it's cracked up to be? So you are a skeptic? You could say that. I like to hold something in my hands to believe it. Seems to me that's just a different kind of thing. Isn't that how this all got started? At a church? Well, according to the legend, how, how's that saying those who don't learn from history? Are uh, destined to repeat it? Huh, I always heard that that dude, oh, it's tripped over this wire. Booby trap. Ah! Ah! That was, I was saving grace. <laughs> right. I was almost hit. Oh. Yes, you would have been grace under pressure. <laughs> uh. Hey, are we all still together? I can't take losing another person. I feel like we left someone behind. Who's behind? Mine. I think I may kind of sort of found a way out. Oh, Luke, that's great! Uh, yeah, if you want to think of it like that, sure. <laughs> this must be the hidden crypt. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of me, you creeps! <laughs> Let's page through this, shall we? The cookbook, doesn't she have it? Uh, Justice Page boss. And it's in like another language or something. Norwegian, actually. Ah, oh, curses. It says squat. Well, we'll just have to make do with this page. You'll never get away with this. Oh, but I nearly have, my dear. Uh, Mr. Factor, we saw Rich and his group heading through the forest to hail Mary's pace. Perfect. Constance must be deciphering the cookbook. Once they cross that, they'll nearly be at the hidden crypt. Wait, you're Benny Factor. You're the one that hired Grace Anatomy. Oh, you know your history, Miss Turner. I do, and Rich, he will stop you. But Miss Turner, he's leading me right to the dish. And why do you want it? Like you, I'm a lover of history. Right. You love Richard too? Oh. 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 No. Cool. But you do? No. Yes, well, I certainly used to. Ah, uh, I meant the past. I'm a lover of all things old, you know, ancient antiquities. Me too. And in particular, my history. Or, as the story goes, my family's. Many moons ago, my grandmother, she was a member at St. Anthony's Zales. She was an amazing woman. She was a singer, a Sunday school teacher, a devoted member of the ladies' aid, but most importantly, an amazing cook. You've heard this before, Factor. She brought the dish to the potluck, and they got mixed up with the others. Then, you've heard 
that this rock, it was never righted. My poor grandmother, she was shunned and shamed by the very same women with whom she broke bread. <laughs> oh, excuse me. She eventually left the church with the other Germans, but it was never the same. In her crypt, the ones who stores this hot dish, they hid it behind a series of booby traps and to unsolvable clues. But what they couldn't hide was their shame! I am on, on a mission to reclaim this hot dish so that I can restore what was taken from my family all those years ago. And how do you know the dish is actually hers? I'll know it's when I see it. And her name should be on the bottom. <laughs> but really, Fraulein Turner, do you not recognize what this hot dish is? It's years of tradition and meals. And once then you've had something cooked in this golden hot dish, you can't simply go back to regular food. Salt has no flavor, sugar, no sweetness. But once then I have this dish, I'll have no need of you. Flunkies, take her away! This battle record history, tis a treasure! <laughs> Come on, people, let's get that dish. Look out for that blind booby trap! Ah! Luke! Luke! I've always been in two minds, but now I'm in two bodies. <laughs> Maybe not her. Well, the cockles of my heart are warm. Come on, we've come this far. The cookbook says it's just a bunch of recipes. How is that helpful? Or are they instructions? What's the first one? Well, the sign in the forest said, too many cooks. I think it can only be one of us. It should be you, Professor. Yes, it should be you, Ricard. <gasps> Paige! Rich! Ah, uh, what was that you were just reading, Fraulein? The next steps must be taken by you, Professor. Let her go! No! <laughs> first, you must bring me the dish. Keep translating, dear. All right. First it says something about a flash in the pan and things are heating up and... Oh, wait! Simmer down! <laughs> Professor! Are you okay? Hey, not so fast! Keep reading, my dear! All right, next it says, you must catch up and not mince words. What's wrong? I think it got me. Wait, is this blood? No, it's ketchup. You should see the hot dish now. Uh, I don't see anything. It's just a big wheel of cheese. Professor, you have to cut the cheese! <coughs> All right. You may think you have won history, but that only shows how foolish you are. I'll never give you this dish. Oh, come on, history. It's a simple trade. The dish or the girl. <gasps> Which do you treasure more? Don't do it, Rich. Come Wait. on, history. I haven't got all day. What do you even want with this, anyway? Don't make me give that monologue again. Once soon I know it's my grandmother's dish, I'll be able to clear her name. But it doesn't have anyone's name on it. Oh, that's just a minus set. 
Wait, if that so, then my family's legacy. Oh, my honor. <gasps> you! We did have some fun together, Richard, didn't we? Please! So far from such grace! Save your good graces, Factor! For decades I've been after this bull! Hot days! Oh, shut up! I know what it is! Clearly you don't, Grace! You'll never understand the hot dish's true power. Oh, I know to fetch me a pretty sum on the crackery black market. Come on, Grace. Think about it. You don't want to be on the wrong side of history, do you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Better? Yes, thank you. History paints a pretty picture, doesn't it, Benny? But I'm just in it for the money. What are you going to do with it? Going to auction it on eBay, you dumb cops! You know how much these babies are going for these days? Collectors will pay a large amount for this long lost casserole pan. Hot dish! Oh, stop it! Don't be such a dick! Hey! It's rich. Dick history was my father. <laughs> oh, who cares? Is it getting a little warm in here? <gasps> Luke! You're alive! Yes, Constance. After I came to, I put two and two together and realized I needed to stop being in two places at once. Whoa! Give the dish here, boy! No, Luke, Luke, don't no. do it! Your no, extra no, credit no. depends on yes. this! You need to pass this class, right? If you work with me, you will need that college education! You give me the ball, you and I, we can retire. Don't listen to her! She's using you! Luke, be bold about this one thing. For once in your life, make a decision. Come on, Luke. I can make you rich! I don't think so, Anatomy. There's only one rich here, and it's that guy. on my sleeve, but who is ready to make a little history? <laughs> that better be a proposal of marriage. <laughs> what are we going to say about the hot dish? That it's a myth? The quest for the hot dish isn't just archaeology or even history. It's faith. It's believing that simple ingredients with the right amount of love mixed in can be life-changing. And the rest, as they say, is history. history.